All right, good morning, everyone. So it's about 11 o'clock or so. Um, I have yet to go to school this week. Actually, yesterday we spent quite a bit of our time, um, we did like a little family road trip to go to Philadelphia, which is about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours away from me. Um, but we went to Ikea, so we wanted, we wanted to get a few little house bits. We made just kind of like a family little day of it and uh, drove around, saw some really cool places and yeah, so we went to Ikea, found some really, really cool stuff, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and insert some of those clips here. All gone. It's all gone. But guess what happens if we get to be a good boy later on? Good boy. Then you get to get some. Okay, that's a good face. It's really cute. I'm in here in the laundry room. train I love this train I, I pretty much want one for the house just because it keeps me so organized at school why not have one for the house to keep me organized right yeah yeah okay. all right I'll do it again a little bit very vibrant, right? This reminds me of Mr. G. <laughs> this whole thing reminds me of Mr. G right here. Let's see what they say about that. would be cool on a door, I think. Ian, go! It's so cute. Oh, I lost him. Blaine! Blaine, where are you? In here. In, oh. in here? Yeah. In here? <gasps> there you are. Let me what? Go. Oh, check this thing out. It has awesome storage and it's $3.99, which is phenomenal. But look at this. Isn't that cool? And it snaps really well. I like it. It's cute. I can find one cheaper at Hobby Lobby. 15 bucks? Yeah, no way. There's some creepy guy in here. So we found some really cool um, little bits and pieces. I didn't really get anything for the classroom because a lot of the stuff that Ikea has, um, I already have for the classroom. So I really didn't need anything else, but I was really excited to see that they had um, my cart that I actually have for me that I'm using in, they had it actually way cheaper than I think I originally purchased it. I feel like I bought it for almost $60 and it wasn't $60. I think it's about the exact same price as what Michaels is selling their cart. So. Today, what I'm wanting to do, I'm actually at the Dollar Tree right now, and I'm gonna go in because I need to get a few bits and pieces because I really want to set up my little area. Somebody had asked to do a video on just kind of setting up my little desk area, so that's what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna set up my little area, um, maybe get a couple of things out from my classroom um, that I had last year and get those into um, my space. And then I wanted to also set up my partner's cart and do a little bit of a comparison between the IKEA cart and and the Michaels cart that they have and see what are kind of the big differences that I feel like um, I'm noticing in between them because now I'm thinking that the prices are pretty similar. So I am gonna go into the Dollar Tree. I wanna grab a couple of bits there um, for my desk, for some of the drawers that I have, and then also for the Ikea cart so that I can have everything nice and neatly organized, which is all very, very exciting. I have a very, very busy week this week. We went here yesterday. Oh, you did? With Hetty? Mm -hmm. Did you guys get anything? You want to grab a card? Or grab this for, hold that for me. Look at that, they already have back to school stuff out, which is always fun. Oh, this stuff makes me happy. Mm-hmm. So let's do some of these. Here, you're my cart guy. These are great for, I use these for my little mini Jenga sets. They're really, really nice. They lock pretty well too, which is good. Here. One, two. Let's do that. Um, I'm assuming these would be cool to have for that. These are awesome. Oh, 
looks cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like those. These are always great for dice. You put the dice in them and you shake them up. Yeah. These are really good. They also have those, which are really nice too to have for storage. Let's see. I'm thinking over here. Oh, look at that blue one. Hmm. Look at that blue. That's a pretty blue. Bling, bling. Wait a second. I don't need them. I have lots of them. Oh, I, I need to get more containers. We gotta go to the containers. Let's go. Okay. I love, love, love these right here and they usually come in bigger sizes but they don't have the clear ones which is a little bit of a bummer but I might grab the blue anyways here I'm like overloading my child ah, definitely great these remind me of the ones that I use for math and the Sterilite versions which are really great so I like to put a lot of math manipulatives in these oh yeah I'm still looking for something to be able to put my pencils in. I'm really in love with this blue. I really like this blue. Oh, I do. I love blue. Blue is my... It's, it's, it's like right next to everything else. Like, it's right next to green. It's like green and blue are my favorite. That's something super awesome. All right, so we are finally in the classroom, which is really good. It's not as hot because I did close the blinds a little bit, um, a little more last week. That was as far as I could take them. I couldn't take them all the way down, so it's fine. It's gonna end up having to work. But I wanted to show you guys exactly what I got from the Dollar Tree to help me start trying to get a couple of things organized so that I can get this space up and running um, and the way that I actually want it. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so I did tell you guys not to judge me on the way that I look. Like I'm looking a little rough, but that's gonna be okay. All right, so I ended up getting one I really, and you gotta be kidding me, my battery's about to die. All right, this is my I Ikea cart that I bought, or actually my husband bought it for my birthday one year. And um, I'm gonna end up using this as like my teaching cart. So I'm gonna have like a little area, like a desk area kind of um, in this space. So this little space that you see right here, this is gonna be like my little desk area. So as far as like my teaching materials, the things that I'm gonna use for my small groups, I'm not gonna have that in the desk. I'm gonna have that in the cart. Because, if I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, if I'm gonna be in like one room, I may end up switching rooms throughout the week. Like I may not be in the exact same room every single day of the week um and so where we're in in like the main room that we're gonna have which is gonna be our fantasy room that fantasy room is going to have like the meeting area that's gonna be we're all kind of grouping together and then that room is gonna be where they find out what their schedule is going to look like and they're gonna learn how to input that into their calendars so they're gonna have that and I may end up saying, okay, Mrs. Spackman's group at you know 10 o'clock is gonna be meeting in the sci-fi room, or Ms. Spackman's group at two o'clock is gonna end up meeting in the fantasy room, Mrs. Spackman's group at you know 12 o'clock is gonna end up meeting in the historical room. So depending on where I'm gonna be, my cart's gonna end up going with me. So I need this cart to have a lot of my materials that I'm gonna use for teaching. So the idea is, is I typically have like a binder that will have teaching materials inside of it and I would like to get some type of like file holder system here to be able to keep my files um, because I do love my files and I'm gonna show you guys that too in a little bit once I start getting some of those put into place but for the most part like this needs to hold like the pencils the index cards the sticky notes just things that you kind of need in general for small groups so let me show you the things that i've bought and then i'm going to start kind of putting it together and then i'm going to show you guys how it in how it ends up being at the very end hold on so let's go through this number one bag i have two bags um i found these last year when i was trying to kind of go through my entire organizing of my classroom it was during pssa time i was walking around i was like oh this could need some fixing this could need some fixing because you have nothing else better to do during pssa time so while you're actively watching children um but i found these at the dollar tree and i was really excited about it i was kind of bummed out because my dollar tree didn't have the clear ones they only had the blue ones which i may end up switching them out but it's not that big of a deal um but these are cool so here's what they the the label is but what's neat is that they snap on i don't know if you guys can see these little kind of hooks but they 
snap and they lock onto each other like this so that they're not kind of shuffling around. They're snapped, they're locked into each other. But they have different sizes of these. So they have this one is like the really big size. I like this one for like scissors. Um, like not kid scissors, adult scissors. Uh, and then they have these which are I think this would be like a pin size so like for pins and markers and for kid scissors things that you want to put in there index cards would be great for these so I picked up these um, and then I also got the clear ones here's what the clear ones look like so here are the clear ones and this is the smaller size um, and these are great for like rubber bands for um, push pins paper clips those types of things so those will all be going inside of these the next thing I got um, were these little buckets and I was kind of excited just to be able to try them out because I like this little piece of it. So it snaps in like this, um, which I'm really excited about. And I thought this would be a really great place to hold a few things um, that I need. And I'm thinking I am right. They stack rather nicely as well, which I was excited about. So I got two of these um, and they have like their new like organization slash like school section looks like it's starting to come out you know where they always like you walk into to um, the Dollar Tree and they end up showing you like they have all the seasonal things I think some of the school stuff is starting to pop out so be on the lookout um, I picked some of these up these are the little sure fresh containers so I put dice inside of them um, the kids can shake them up or if you use any kind of like little cards picture cards number cards anything like that um, I'm gonna put them inside of these so I can keep them all in one little spot okay next thing I got um, and I've had these before and you guys if you've been watching me for a little bit you've seen them too but with my um, Jenga set that I have I put them inside of these little containers they look like little sandwich boxes and I think it is like a sandwich box if I'm not mistaken um, but it's a perfect little size to put the Jenga sets any kind of cards anything that you kind of reference to periodically or you want to put just games in there like I love organized like my games getting organized in one of these these are great and what's fabulous is that they snap which is nice so they're nice and snapped in so nothing ends up falling out which is what I love the best about these um, there's the little label Oops. there's a little label if you want to look at it but these are some of my favorite containers to get and usually when they have them out I will typically buy a lot of them because they go super fast and then I can't find them anywhere also got and these are kind of nothing new um, but they have these in various sizes right now they have them in blue and then I have they have them in the white. I just picked up the whites to be able to put pencils in, um, erasers, anything that I want to choose to put inside of these. These are really great little organizer baskets. Um, they have uh, this size and then they have the one that's like a rectangle that's about this big. I only chose to get this size today because I have a ton of the other ones for when I used counting jar. Because I, when I did counting jar in kindergarten, I used the other size, which was great. I also picked up paper clips. I couldn't remember if I had paper clips or not. So I picked up some paper clips. Um, and then the last thing that I ended up picking out, and this was actually in the school section, which I was like, hmm, that's actually a good thought. Um, I picked up some of these sponges because you can end up cutting them in half and it's a really great thing to have for like whiteboard cleaners to be for the kids to be able to clean off their whiteboards. So I'm gonna keep these and put them inside one of the boxes, the bigger boxes, so that we can have them for when they need to clean off their their dry erase boards or their desk. Sometimes I have them right on desks. So that was kind of the bulk of it. Now I need to figure out what all do I need to have in this bad boy. one little minute and I'm gonna just gripe on the camera for just this little second um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in I may end up taking it out I don't really know um, so I just received I just placed up my planner so for those of you who have already purchased my planner thank you so much for your love and support I hope that you are enjoying it um, so somebody I just put up my planner on to TPT and someone just left me a rating which is at a one star they left me a one star rating which 
I don't understand this. I don't understand why people use ratings as a way to just be mean. Like it has nothing to do with the product. It has to do with the fact that they're not happy with a decision that I made when it came to my planner. Um, so I have never offered updates like for the new school year. I've always said that, you know what, you walk in, you go to purchase your new planner at a store whenever you go and buy it. You go to Erin Condren and you have to repurchase a planner. Why is it that I have to put in all the work and time and give it for free? Like, why does everyone expect things for free? I just don't understand that. Like, my time and my work and the things that I do needs to be valued. And I feel like if people ask me, well, you need to give me an update every single year for free. Well, heck, I just don't understand that. So this person thought that they were going to get the planner for free, which I never once said that I would ever give a planner free for the next year. I've said that it gets updated throughout the year for free. So like adding new covers would be updated. Um, if there are things that are wrong with it, it would get updated. But I never once said that next year you get the planner for free. Never have I ever said that. Actually, I'm pretty sure that in my last video that I did on my teacher planner, I even specifically said that I don't offer a free planner for the next year. <laughs> like, ah, I just don't understand. So the person went on TPT, left me a very not nice message or a not nice rating um, in all caps, which is kind of annoying. Basically, was upset because it wasn't getting a free update. So she gave me a one star. Why? Why would why would you do that? Why be so vindictive? Why be so mean? I don't understand. And this is what we're teaching children. We're teaching children to go out and be mean and to give people one star ratings just because they don't like them. Really? Like and I, it's not like you spent $75 on an Erin Condren. Oh my word. It was $12. Like, and you're getting upset at me over it? I don't understand. Either way. So, guys, I am putting out my teacher planner video very soon. And it, it does not receive free updates. Okay, that was that I've never said that I would do free updates and I know some of you might be disappointed on that And I know that there are other people out there who do free updates with their planner every single year and they give you give it to you And it's great Then don't buy my planner. I'm sorry that you don't like it, but Come on <sighs> Good things are happening this week. Let's get back to to, to this. So I have this little bitty cart semi put together. Um, I did have to kind of play with it a little bit. The little containers that snap into place that I got from the Dollar Tree, I think it's because of the curve of the actual, there's like this curve right here, but because of that curve, it wasn't wanting to snap in correctly. I don't know. So I had to play with it a little bit, but I did end up getting them to work. So let me show you guys exactly what I have so far and then some things that I'm thinking about doing for the very top of it. So let me show you, let me turn you around and show you. So down here in this middle section, I ended up deciding to do all of my little supplies that I have over here. So I ended up using uh, the little white basket here for the pencils. And then I have the larger one to hold index cards and I have two different sides of index cards. Large post-it notes, I have paper clips, um, the uh, erasers, which I like to cut my erasers in half because I feel like they, I don't lose them as much, I don't know. So I end up cutting my erasers in half and then I have the smaller post-it notes that are, I think they're like half of this. No, they're not half, but they're just a little bit smaller, which are really nice. I like these size, this size. Um, and then I also put some um, highlighters that we'll use, end up, end up using during small group. The only thing that I did not consider was putting in dry erase markers. So I'm gonna figure out a different way to put that. So I might put that actually down here at the bottom. So then in the bottom, what I ended up having is I ended up putting those little con those little bitty containers inside of this in case I did want to be able to use them. I have them here. Um, I like to just have these little bitty containers for when I need to pass things out. It just makes things makes passing things out so much easier. So I placed that in there, and then I cut up the sponges in half so that we can use them as um, erasers for their dry erase markers. So that is all in there and those are stacked up rather nicely. 
So I placed those two things in there and then I have some composition notebooks that I know that we're gonna be using for morning meetings. So I ended up putting those there. So I might end up just putting a little bitty container right here um, to fit some of my dry erase markers. So hold on one second. Okay, so now I have dry erase markers, dry erasers, and then I have my little containers, my composition notebooks, and then all of my other little supplies here. So at the very top, I told you guys I wanted to be able to put my files. So my idea is that I'm gonna have files for each of the groups that I'm going to be teaching. Um, and in the morning or for that week, I'm gonna put all of those files in here so then I don't have to worry about it. Well, I can't fit a nice little file system in here and every time I try to do something, um, I ended up borrowing my partners to see what it would look like and it's too clunky, too clunky, looks too big. I don't really like it, let me show you guys. See, it just, it just doesn't look right. Um, so I didn't like this idea. Then, then I found these, which I've had these for a few years now. I actually found them at the dollar, do, Target dollar spot. But then I found that and I said, maybe that's a really good option. I'm not really sure, but they're gonna end up holding folders like this inside of it. Um, so that's kind of what it would end up looking like and I, I mean I'm okay with it if that ends up being my last resort But it wasn't my favorite and then I was talking to my husband and my husband um, knows how to weld So he said ah, I'm sorry look at my mess <laughs> um, But my husband said since he does welding and um, my brother-in-law also welds and my father-in-law actually all three of them weld um, That they could end up putting some type of a pole here to be able to allow me to hang my files here so then I would have this little bit of extra space there, but just imagine me being able to put that here with my file folders hanging like that. How cool would that be? So really they would just have to put a wire coming up from here, another wire or um, steel rod or something to that extent, and then another one here, another one there, and it just having the two areas for it to kind of go over to, and I would just have this really nice little file hanging system so i don't know if that's actually going to happen um i'm going to talk to my brother-in-law this evening once i get back home to see what he thinks about it but i thought that was a really cool idea so um that's kind of what i have at the moment i'm hoping that i can get this finished this week so that's kind of one more thing off my checklist so there it is um i would like to go ahead and clean out some of this because a lot of this stuff ended up getting stuffed inside of here which is not the best um, but we're gonna end up seeing what happens here. But I have a lot of junk inside of this little drawer that I need to get cleaned out and um, fixed up a little bit more nicely. And then here is that little desk area that I was showing you guys. Um, and I'm not quite sure all of the things that I need to have up here. I have a ton of storage up here that I don't even know what to do with. I just don't know what to do with it. Um, and then I have some drawers and some things like that that I have in here too that I just again more storage stuff right now It just has a couple of things that I was just putting in there just to put in there um, But yeah, that's kind of the little area that I have at the moment So I know a lot of you ask a lot of questions about teacher desks and having a teacher space And I don't have a teacher space and you know, what do I do with all my stuff? And where do I do all my work? Well a lot of the times when I'm with kids guys like I don't do other stuff like I'm not on my computer I'm not on anything else I'm focusing on my students because that's their time to be able to have me to be able to help them in anything that they need help with so typically I'm like doing individual conferences I'm walking in the room I'm listening to kid read like I'm constantly doing things with kids um, so I don't really need my teacher space because I don't use my teacher space and typically when the kids are gone I'm sitting in their little areas like I sit like on a desk I sit at a table I sit at a you know the sofa or wherever it need be and I'll just get my work done there um, I don't really need a huge desk in order for me to do my work and I don't need a lot of things either because a lot of materials that I have are the things that they need and you know I have that stuff out um, my binders and things like that I hold resources in I have my file cabinets for that and then I have those cabinets for that and that's where I put all of that stuff away but I don't need to have it out because I don't constantly use that the only thing that I use throughout the day are gonna be the materials that are gonna go inside of that cart and then I use my teacher planner and that's really about it I don't use anything else because I just don't feel the need to use every like have 
all this other stuff like hanging out um, so I just kind of keep it into that little section and then like I have my nice pins and the kids know like I'll have my nice little pins that I will keep out and I say no touching and they will not touch my pins um, but that's pretty much it so I don't feel the need to use a desk I feel like it takes too much space up um, I feel like it's a, just a waste of space to be honest um, and I want the kids to feel like it's their room too like they don't I don't want them to come up to me and be like I'm invading Miss Speckman's space um, instead I want them to come up to me and be like hey you know and have a conversation about things and not feel like I'm behind the desk I'm the superior person um because that's in my brain that's what I feel like it is you know I always get scared going into like the principal's office because he's sitting behind his desk and I'm like ooh, intimidated like I feel intimidated and I don't want my students to feel intimidated because of my space um so the kids know that they're gonna be able to come back here they're gonna be able to talk to me you know hang out with me that kind of thing and that's good and fine um and I feel like I'm rambling and I'm so sorry I <laughs> don't mean to ramble but for those of you who like have to have a teacher space y'all I totally get it have a teacher desk if it works for you and that's what you like to have and you need to make sure that you have your defined space because it makes you feel better and it makes your brain work better as a teacher do it no one is telling you not to have a desk no one is telling you that you have to have this crazy open flow type system no one is telling you that you have to be like me and think like me i think this way this is the way my brain processes things but you don't need to do that so totally do whatever is best for you please don't take this like ill i i don't know i don't know i don't know if i'm tr i'm like being mean about having a teacher desk i just personally don't like a teacher desk if you like a teacher desk hey kudos to you you stand strong and you do your dues um but that's really about it i'm sorry i'm gonna stop rambling okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of close up shop i'm gonna clean up my mess and then i'm gonna come back tomorrow hopefully get that other cart put together um and get the rest of my space set up crossing my fingers and then i also gotta print a couple of things while i'm here tomorrow so Hope that was fun. I hope you liked my little Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Today is day two of trying to bring my children to work with me. <laughs> Let's all hope this goes well. So it is Wednesday. It has been a very, very busy morning so far. Um, I had a Patreon chat that was went fantastic this morning. Uh, then I also have been on and off the phone pretty much all day long and I've gotten no work done at all like i've gotten nothing done um but that's okay so today i'm actually here just a little bit later it's a little after 4 30 in the afternoon and today's kind of a special day because today is going to be the first day that we invite our students for the 2017 2018 mac team to come and join us to hang out at our playground so um when we saw the kids during move the pride and we gave them their summer challenge books on the summer challenge books in the very beginning like the welcoming page we told the kids that we had a couple of dates where they could come and just kind of hang out with us get to know us and just talk we were going to bring our kids we were just going to hang out outside have popsicles play some games it was going to be great so today is one of those days where we get to um, kind of hang out with some of our kids. So we're hoping we're going to have a really good turn turnout. We did have a few parents go ahead and contact us and let us know that our kid the kids are really excited about coming. So that's going to be fantastic and I'm excited about getting to see them and meeting them again. And it's just a good day. It's just one of those weeks, y'all. It's one of those weeks where it's going to be really busy. And then next week is just one of those weeks that it's just, again, it's going to be really busy. It's just... It's a busy time in my life right now. Um, so I am going to attempt to try to get a little bit of work done. I want to transfer over some of my files, given some of those things together. Uh, so today's going to be just kind of another organizing afternoon until about 630 when the kids start to show up. So I really quick just want to bring up a, a little bitty point um, really fast. I was on my Patreon chat with um, a fantastic, fantastic teacher and love her to death. And she had made the point that she was extremely jealous of all the storage that I have in my room because I have all of these cabinets. And I just want to point out the same thing that I point out to, that I pointed out to her that yeah, it, it, it's good to have cabinets and to have storage. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's a little bit harder to have to plan out your room this way because every single wall has something like you have to consider so many different things and whereas in my old room when I was in kindergarten and we didn't have any shelving and we didn't have cabinets 
I purchased all of my shelving units. But the great thing about that was that I could move my shelving units around. Y'all, I can't move these shelving units, okay? They're stuck where they are, so some of my spaces can't move. Whereas I could end up determining where I wanted to have my small group area here, it's kind of like you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. You know what I'm saying? So it may be really great to have some of these wonderful cabinets, but let me tell you, it is not like all that it's cracked up to be because I have limitations on how I can design my room and how I can do my setup. I can't move things around like I did in my, in my kindergarten classroom, which is a little bit sad. So things pretty much get put the way they are and then they don't move after that. Um, my husband would appreciate that part of it because my house is not like that at all. It ends up being like my kindergarten classroom where it changes all the time. So um, this is gonna be my little desk area and I know some of you would have been commenting about that but this is my little bitty desk area. It's kind of like my little home base I guess you can consider it. Just kind of where I keep certain things um, that I can access uh, throughout the school day. I wanted to put it inside of this room instead of keeping it in the old room that I had for a couple of different reasons. One, I wanted to make sure that that space was completely maximized to be able to hold as many kids as possible. Uh, two, I wanted to be able to access it like throughout the day. And I don't see myself going into the, the, uh, the fantasy room, the big room, as much as I see myself inside of these other two rooms. So it's gonna be easier for me to access these other two rooms. The only times I'm gonna be accessing that really big, hey, how you doing? So sorry about that guys. Somebody actually walked into the room so I wasn't able to um I wasn't able I don't remember exactly what I was talking about. I remember talking about the the cabinets and then something else but then they walked into my room and I have no idea what I was talking about but either way um, I have to go and make a copy of a summer challenge book because one of our girls lost her book so I need to go and do that for her um, I also did want to move a couple of my files over so when I'm looking at this cabinet right here with my little space so oh that's probably where I stopped but this is gonna be my little desk space it's gonna be my home base for me to be able to get some of my books just this is really all I need <laughs> on my desk this is all I use y'all um, but I have a little cabinet in my room where I had my 43 folder 43 42 folder system I can't remember which number it is <laughs> anyways um, it's 43 so 43 folder system and I'm going to actually put it inside of this room just to make it easier for me to be able to access it and what's nice is that this room does actually have a couple of file cabinets down here which is really nice so I need to go and grab those files to be able to put them over here so that I can have a nice little um, my nice little area all fixed up so I'm gonna have my 43 folder system over here and I will explain that in just a moment so this isn't gonna work <laughs> I thought that this was gonna hold the files the way that I want them to hold the files and it's not gonna happen so in a normal file system I wonder if the bottom has one. okay in a normal system what you end up having is you end up having these little rods that can hold these pieces um, but this one doesn't do that and look y'all it like flaps that's not cool not cool at all I'm not liking it and I don't even know what any of this stuff is oh it's all extra stuff that I just gotta file away um, so that's not gonna work that's not gonna work at all <sighs> hey guys so we went to Target and I bought another cart Ooh, um, so I thought it would be a really good idea to uh, do a comparison with the Ikea cart that I've had now for two years um, with the cart from Michaels and then also with the cart from Target these seems to be really really popular in teaching um, especially around the small group area where you're having to kind of move and have a lot of materials right there by you whenever you're teaching so what a better way to look at all the different carts than to go out and just purchase them. So I am going to have my husband, not me, but I'm going to have my husband put this together and then I'm going to do a little rundown of the three carts um, together side by side. <laughs> I'm all about to
I mean, it's incredibly bigger. And I'm not sure how the pieces are put together in there, but we're gonna find out in just a little bit. Huge difference already. Here and I want to do just a little bit of a comparison so that in case you were wanting to get one of these carts for your classroom uh, this will hopefully help you be able to decide which one you want to get for your room which one's perfect for your budget and let's just be honest which store is probably closest to you because sometimes that's also a factor especially if you don't have an Ikea that's close to you so I have a Target cart that's next to me that I just got this morning um, an Ikea cart that I've had now for about two years and then a Michael cart that we got earlier in the spring uh, so we're gonna compare all three of them going from bottom to top and looking at some of the big similarities and differences uh, between the three the very first thing that I want to point out are the wheels um, the wheels this Michael's cart it's a it's not as easy to roll around I will say that one of the pluses that I saw on the on the Michael's cart was that it locks so the wheels will actually lock in place uh, the Ikea cart is phenomenal when it comes to like rolling. It rolls so smooth and it's very like, I don't know. I know I have a little bit of weight in there right now, but y'all, this cart has never failed me when it comes to it rolling and just having a really nice uh, feel to it when you're rolling it. But the actual wheels don't lock. Uh, and then the Target cart, the wheels lock and it actually rolls pretty nice. I would say out of the three, which one I like the, the most is going to be Ikea gets first, uh, Target gets second, and then Michael's is in last for the quality of the wheels and just the way that it rolls for the cart itself. Um, now looking at the actual baskets. So the baskets are a little bit different. I would say that Michaels and Target have a, a um, kind of a closer look and design to them. They're more of a rectangular shape and the corners are not as curved. Whereas the Ikea cart, it has a really big curve, which I have kind of figured out that when you're putting things inside of it, it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, especially when you're looking at like fitting paper inside of it, because of that big curve, it doesn't, uh, you have kind of this big huge amount of space left off on the ends since it has that curve. Whereas the other two cards don't have it as much, it's just a smaller curve, which gives it a really nice look and design to it um, and also maximizes space. So the cards themselves are also a little bit different uh, in sizes. So the Michael's shelf itself is a little bit, it's the smallest out of all three of them. Um, and they're all off by about a half an inch. The Target one comes in the middle with the size itself. And then the Ikea cart is by far the biggest, but also remember that it does have that curve. So you're actually losing some of that space. Also looking at the actual shelves themselves too, is going to be the netting on the inside of it. Um, the Michael's cart has a very small netting, which I really, really like, to be honest. Um, I don't like the really big holes that the Target and the Ikea cart have because I have had issues with things falling through, sometimes going through those holes, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I will say that as far as the quality goes of these, um, Michael's is gonna come in way last. You actually feel the indent from when they had it bent, I guess, within the factory where they just kind of rolled it out and laid it. You can feel the indents in it and it just feels like you can push them through at any point. Uh, Target is a little bit better as far as the quality of the actual uh, shelf here, but it's nowhere near compared to the Ikea. The Ikea cart and the shelf and the lining that is inside of it is phenomenal. It is so strong, so sturdy, um, and I don't ever see that thing breaking on me at all. So as far as looking at the carts, again, I'm gonna have to say Ikea comes in first, 
Target comes in second and then the Michaels card actually comes in last. So now let's look at the actual space in between them. Um, the space actually right here when you're going in between these two shelves is huge. It's a huge thing because sometimes it becomes a little bit of a, a pain when you're having to take things in and out, in and out, especially if you're dealing with files or papers, pencils, anything that you may be putting inside of it. Uh, looking at the Michaels and the Ikea, they actually have the exact same distance and it's pretty wide as well for putting things inside and outside. So they're the exact same um, distance apart from each of the carts. The, the Target one is smaller, so it doesn't have as much of a space in between the two carts. Um, I think it was about an inch was the difference. This one has far less space than what the other two have and the other two are exactly the same. Something else that I noticed as well is just kind of looking at the design aspect of it. You're gonna notice that the Target cart actually has um, these handles that you would be able to push your cart so if you're gonna be like me and you're gonna move moving your cart a lot this is actually a really nice feature to be able to have um, the other two carts do not have them but I've never really had issues with it especially with the IKEA because it does roll so smoothly and I never had an issue with rolling it all in all y'all like looking at all three of these carts by far, IKEA comes in first place for the quality, the design, the um, reliability of it. Target is going to come in second, and then Michaels comes in last. Um, and just for like a price variance, we went and ended up looking at some of the prices. The Target cart this morning actually cost me $29.99. Uh, the Michaels cart cost $30 with a 40% off coupon. You can get it down to $18, and I'm pretty sure that you can use your teacher discount as well to get you an extra, I think, either 10 or 15% off, which is a huge deal. So if you're looking at price and you just kind of need to determine it based off of that, those are some big differences. And then the Ikea card, I found it online for $24.99. So the best bang for your buck, I would definitely go with the Ikea card just because it is such an amazing quality card. Um, it's gonna be reliable. I've never had any issues with it and it still looks brand new. And I've had it for two years, which has been amazing. And y'all, my kids are rough on these cards too. So keep that in mind as well. So all in all, there's my cart comparison. I would love to know which cart that you like the most. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one is your absolute favorite. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. If you have any other questions on the carts, leave them down below and I will hopefully answer some of those for you. Y'all, I am struggling again today. I am not motivated. Um, my little boy, poor thing, he looks like he is just so tired. So yesterday, um, it was so great, but we as teachers, like us three teachers for the Mac team, we ended up inviting all of our Mac kids to be able to come out to the playground at our school and kind of hang out, just get to know each other, um, talk, and they were gonna do their summer, ch summer challenge check-in with us. So they got stickers for their challenges that they've been doing. Um, and they got to have popsicles which was really great and we got to kind of get to meet some of the families and just chit chat and talk about things and they loved it like it was a little bit like oh I'm not I'm not sure about this at the very beginning like they were all a little bit nervous but they all opened up and they were so nice and so amazing and I am so thankful and grateful for all of the families that are part of our team so that was really fun but we ended up staying here until almost i think we didn't get home until like 8 30 8 45 and so by that time my kid was so exhausted because he had been running around on our huge playground with all these big kids thinking that he's just a big dog he's like a chihuahua he thinks he's a big dog um and he's running around with all these other big kids trying to be like them and he left so tired that i think he was actually still tired this morning because he's at, and he was yawning just a little bit ago but uh, they went out to go and write bikes right now so that i can film film the cart showdown and i just finished that up and uh, um yeah so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed that anyways um they're actually cleaning my original room right now so the fantasy room they're cleaning it this week which is really great news so all of my stuff is out in the hallway at the moment but that means next week I can start getting into that room as well which that's gonna be really fun and exciting although I don't know how much time I'm actually gonna be spending in my classroom next week all will be revealed to y'all tomorrow um, <laughs> as far as why everything has been so crazy and why I'm gonna have to take a break from the classroom for a couple of weeks a week maybe two weeks um, just depending on how much work I'm gonna have 
ahead of me. So all will be revealed tomorrow, so keep watching. Please don't stop watching. Um, and you guys will find out the big secret that I've been keeping from you since May. <laughs> um, so I don't think I'm going to be spending a lot of time here. Um, I don't really have a lot that I can do right now. I can't do much until they finish painting that and they finish in my room. So really, I can't do much at all until that piece of it. Um, I will say that yesterday I tried to put the files inside of my file cabinet that I have in my little area over here. So I have this little desk area right here. And I tried to put some files in this little file cabinet that I have down here. But y'all, it doesn't even work. Like, I don't, I don't know. So I have a 43 folder system that I use um, to help keep me organized throughout the year. And you can see that I still have yet to clean it out since the end of the year. But they don't like hook on here, which is different. So I don't know exactly how I want to handle this. If I'm just going to leave it like this or if I'm going to have to figure out a different system. I'm not really, sh I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I need something to be able to keep all of these files inside of. So I don't know. We're going to have to see and figure it out um, another time because I'm not sure exactly what I would do. I could put, I did have one file that I could put up here. It's like a hanging file system and it's just like a really big crate. Um, and I can put that over here in this spot, but that was just a little sad because I have these two, um, drawers that I now I feel like I can't even use because now it does this which is a little bit of a bummer Ugh, such a pain oh well I'm glad that I got my cart semi put together um, for my class so I got a lot of the little pieces organized to it I still need to figure out wh what I'm gonna do as far as like putting my files in there um, I told you guys that my husband thinks that we can maybe weld a couple of things on it to make a hanging file system on there I don't want to put the 43 folders on there I'm gonna put it as like my groups folders on there if that if that makes any sense to you guys um, but I'm glad that I got the cart together I'm wheeling the cart right now <laughs> Look at that. It just, y'all, this cart rolls so nice. It just, it rolls good. Anyways, so, um, at least I got this cart done. And I'm going to have to figure out something about the files themselves and how I'm going to put them in there. Because I wasn't very pleased with that piece of it. So, there is the cart. It looks really nice. I'm very happy with these little containers right here. I think that's going to help me keep this very nice and neat and clean and organized. Um... So overall, I love it. Hey guys, it is a Friday afternoon and I just wanted to give you guys a really, really, really quick update um, as I'm coming to the very end of my edits so that I can get this video posted up for you on Saturday morning bright and early. So I told you guys that there was a big secret that I have been keeping from you um, since May. Like it's been going on since May. How insane is that? So many of you guess that I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant, thankfully. Like I don't want to be pregnant again. Um, but the very, very big secret that we have going on is that we are now homeowners. Cue pictures. Uh, so we have purchased our very first home. And so you guys are probably wondering, where in the world are you living then? We've been living with my in-laws. So, um, we're at my husband's parents' house and this is where he grew up. Um, they have a very nice land, very nice farmland uh, but we don't live here that <laughs> we've just been staying here until we have been able to find a home of our own and luckily we finally found one which is very exciting for us so we have been going through this crazy uh, madness of trying to get this house for the past couple months and it's finally over because this morning we signed the papers so we're very thankful for that Hopefully this weekend we are going to get everything starting to move in. So I'm going to go ahead and just pre-warn all of you that the vlog next Saturday is not going to be very much of a school vlog. We can't even get until Wednesday and then so it's open only it will only be open on Wednesday and Thursday next week because of the holiday and um, my parents are coming in. I have a new house. I'm going to be doing some house stuff. So I'm going to be showing a house vlog, a lot of me organizing, unpacking things. I want to get a lot of my kindergarten stuff set up in there, a lot of my fourth grade stuff set up in there. So I will be vlogging some of that. Um, but we're also wanting to do a little bit of some renovations and stuff like that, like just some painting and things to that extent to kind of make the home ours. So forewarning, I'm like warning you now that 
do not expect to see a school vlog next Saturday. If you don't want to see anything that has to do with my home life, then don't watch the next week's vlog because it is going to be very home related. I am very excited about it, so I would like to capture it, put it up on my channel so that I can go back um, later on when I'm a little bit older and be able to show my kids because my kids are going to be going into their very first home. We've always lived in apartments um, until we came here, so it's very special for them. So, I am excited about it, just going ahead and warning you guys that this is going to happen. And I am going to also tell you that if you are a little upset about not having a school vlog, no worries, because I am going to be posting my teacher planner walkthrough video on Wednesday morning. So be sure that you're on the lookout for that teacher planner walkthrough video. I'm going to show you guys all about how I edit it, I'm going to have it printed, I'm going to bind it, and then I'm going to walk through on how I'm actually using that planner for the 2017-2018. 18 school year so make sure you're looking out for that video on Wednesday morning and then next Saturday it's gonna be a little bit of a home vlog so guys thank you so much for all of your love and support I hope uh, that you are a little bit excited because I am very excited that I'm gonna be in this new home I will be able to vlog a little bit more at home and show you guys some of the things that I do as far as like school work at home which will be really nice I haven't wanted to film a lot of here because you know I want to keep everybody's privacy private <laughs> I want to be respectful of everyone's privacy so I'm trying to do that here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog we are very excited I'm gonna go continue to pack and be a hot sweaty mess which is what I am now so I will see you guys next Wednesday and Saturday with some new videos bye